Every day, some part of me wants to be afraid of something. At the very least, afraid of people. All their wild choices and decisions they make. See the verbiage there, wild people, wild choices. I'm afraid of people as a whole. I don't want to be afraid of anything. I want to be comfortable and serene in my own little world. I would like to be that, wouldn't I? But I'm afraid. Six four, three hundred and seventy five pounds. I'm afraid. Some might be saying you're white and true. Seems like a more complex thing than just skin color as it falls deeper into us than just our skin. It's a soul problem. We are all wounded internally by COVID. We were all raised to believe that the world was getting along pretty well after the Cold War and Desert Storm didn't really affect some of us the way it affected others. And then, to me, 9-11, sure, that was wild. But again, something in me didn't fully care. I was in my late teens then. I wasn't interested in signing up for service, so... COVID, though. Here comes this thing, right, that meant nothing to anyone. And then within a few weeks, it meant everything to everyone. And at once, almost, within a few noticeable beats, right, there's the first time you ever heard of COVID. And then there were a few more beats, and then maybe it was the fifth time you heard of COVID. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's like worse than mosquitoes giving people malaria in third world countries. Oh, that's gonna be tough. I hope everyone's gonna be okay. You weren't necessarily afraid yet for yourself, for your wife, for your kids. Sometimes I wonder my brother who passed away uh, from well, suicide uh, passed away in suicide in the same sentence um, like uh, my parents passed away from cancer right I, uh, both parents passed away from cancer and then I lost my brother to suicide sometimes that's what I say instead but my brother uh, took his own life a few months before COVID. Like, when I look back to that me versus me now, it seems so strange. He left just before things got really hard to believe and heavy and suddenly every talking head on the internet and on all the news networks is bleeding out of their eyes for someone to listen to them about their reason to be terrified. I'm exhausted of being beliefs, whatever you think, go for it. I'm not trying to change anyone's hearts or minds here. I'm actually trying to just whisper into your heads thoughts that maybe you're also thinking somewhere deep down inside and maybe aren't fully willing to express. Maybe some of you are thinking, no, he hasn't said anything big and bonkers yet. And that's okay, too. That's okay, too. I just wonder if you, like me, are as tired of being terrified as I am. Surely there's
something knocking around in your possibly beautiful mind. Possibly free brain and possibly unchained soul. I'm looking for the right words here because what we are capable of is not what most of us currently are. I wake up every morning and I try to convince myself. I dig deep and I believe there's something in me worthy, something in me good, something in me that doesn't need to be constantly afraid of everyone's ideas their beliefs, their changes of heart. I long to believe that the people who used to be around me and the people who are around me now, I long to believe that over time they are capable of such beauty and great, great things, changing the world towards sanity, towards hope, towards a peace that is not just a lie setting up more chaos tomorrow. Because we've had a few of those calms just to set the stage for the storms that come through and wreck everything. And then there are a beat or two and then again, more absolute, unfathomable chaos that yesterday we would have believed would not happen. And yet today, here we are staring at the headlines. Too much chaos. Just like too much quiet nothing cannot lead to anything good over time. I wish and pray and long for your peace. <laughs>